Hi everybody, Joe here again. Thanks so much for popping in. I hope you're keeping well. I'm sort of up and down again still, but anyway, doesn't matter. We can still have our little crafty catch up. And today we're going to create this design. Now, I've got to be honest, on my card, I stamped my lovely wizardry books when I was creating this. And my idea was to stamp one of our lovely cheeky mice. Well, they disappeared. And in their place, I found this lovely new fairy called Dana. Now, how fabulous is she? And I thought, well, I've got to introduce you to her. And she's perfectly, she's pocket sized. And I know you like to know measurements. So if I just measure, look, the image from the tip of her wing to the end of her lovely lamp is three centimetres. And from head to foot, she's about two centimetres. So she's a gorgeous wee fairy. Now, this I've put on a six by six card and envelope, so she's perfect for those of you that like to make smaller designs. Of course, you can add her on larger designs as well if you wish. So what we'll do, we'll start off with a piece of multifarious card, and this is five and a half inches square, ready to go on my six by six. And I'm just going to put that black line all the way around with my pen which I put down oh it's there do you ever do that I literally put it down ready to start and it disappeared so I just hold my card look and drag my pen down the edge I've done that on all four sides and that just gives me a nice frame and I'm going to keep that piece of paper because you know I'm sad and I like to keep all my pieces and we'll come in with our lovely wizardry stamp and I'm just going to use my black, my Versafine Claire Nocturne. So how are you keeping? I hope your week started well. Now there's lots and lots of uh, samples that the design team have made. Fabulous samples. So please look out on social media because we have got some new things happening at the end of the week. We've got our extravaganza online and in person. And also our new release. So keep those eyes peeled you know the fairies pop up now I'm gonna stamp this just sort of about at an angle here and there's lots of detail on these books I love this considering I didn't think it would be it's actually turned out to be one of my favorite stamps and I've used it so much it's just so useful now, I'm going to put Dana, and here she is, look. We'll pop her on top. And again, I bet if you look, we've got so many plants, the top hat, the clock. How many things do you think she could sit on? That would be a good quiz, wouldn't it? I could maybe do a little, a little Facebook group and just say, let's see how many different objects we can stamp her on. How many of our Lavinia stamps can we stamp her? That will be fun. What do you think? Right. Now, I'm hopefully you didn't see my head there. When you, If you're one of our new followers, when you're putting something on top like this fairy, it's best to actually be right over the top so you can see. It helps because you can see through our blocks. And there we go, look. She's just sitting on top of our books. So what I'm going to do is just give that a bit of a blot because first of all, Claire, slower drying ink. And because I'm going to add some elements ink next, I don't want to smudge this. And look, you can see a little bit of ink on there. Now, I want that lovely shape, so I'm going to use our sticker sentiment set five. And that's the one with all these lovely shapes in. And I'm going for the circle. And I was thinking this would sort of be the glow from her lamp. So, again, you've got choices, but I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to put it sort of there. So she's sort of in the middle. So it's a little bit of a spotlight on her. But also, it, it can be the light from the lamp. Now, I've got a space here. And me being me, I'm liable to go right over that. So I'm just going to add some of my Lavinia low-tack tape. Just because I know what I'm like, I'll get carried away and I'll put ink over there. 
Now, the colours of ink I've chosen today are green sleeves and violet chalk. Why? I don't know. You could ask me why. I just wanted to try a different combination. And these are two colours that I wouldn't normally use together. And I know we get sort of, if we go off the colour wheel, we get told what colours look good, what colours blend. But sometimes I like to just choose colours and just think, mm, will they work, won't they? So we shall see. You know, sometimes if your mojo goes or you're almost a bit, you don't know what to do, it's good to do something a bit different. Just helps get your crafty juices flowing. And what's the worst that can happen? What, I don't like it? Well, so I'm going to come in with the green sleeves first. And again, I always put my ink on my lid, look. And I'm just going to come and blend round the edges. And then into the middle a little. So the sort of instantly we get that highlight on our lovely fairy in the lamp look. So we'll pop the lid on that and then we'll come in with the violet chalk and it's interesting how adding this colour really changes things. So I'm just going to start at the bottom and just gently gently again in the lid And if it's a new ink pad and very juicy, always make sure you go on your sticker stencil and just drag that colour. I'm just going to blend across half just so I can show you the difference. Can you see the two colour tones there? This is obviously a very greeny yellow and this just has that, almost gives it a brown edge to it. I'll just add a little bit more and again it's just a, another colour tone we often get asked which ink pads would you choose first and you know what colours it's very a personal thing depending a what type of cards you make what your favourite colours are because I always think if you've got a favourite colour you're going to use that more but sometimes it's nice as I say just to mix these colours Right, I like that. It's just such a lovely earthy blend. And I'm just going to add a little bit round my books there. Almost just try and bring in that purpley tone. Right, I like that. Now, I want to add the bells. <clears throat> and on our bell set, we've got three. So I'm going to go for the lovely single one. I just fancied, I, my idea was to add some foliage and then I just thought, you know what, I don't use the bells very much. So let's add them. So we're going to put one there. This is another good reason I've got my tape here because I would forget, you know, and stamp over this bit of the card. And if you're anything like me and you've ever done that before, you'll know... I've got a bit of ink there, so just need to get rid of that, otherwise that'll end up on my card. And I think we'll have another one just over here. Now, I'm going to sneak in, so shh, don't tell Tracy. We're going to whisper this bit. I've got a lovely new stamp set called Thimbleweed. And it's absolutely stunning. You know I love my florals, so this is sneaking in. This is through the back door, so I have to whisper. And it's a gorgeous open stamp and a silhouette. And I just thought this would be beautiful. Give me an area to colour in. Call it in. So, and I'm just going to stamp a couple of these. So we'll have one there. And look at this beautiful... And again, when it comes to colouring in, you can use pencils, pens, ink, paints. And depending on how much colouring in you want to do, depends on how many of these you stamp. Now, I'm thinking the three there. Right, so we'll take that one off and then wait till I show you this one. And with this being a solid, what I love is, so, you see where I've got my lovely hanging? Well, 
I just love the fact that this I can look and I can stamp it and make my bells have a more intricate hanging chain. Now, I'm sorry, and I'm a bit of a kid, but I love that. I love when I when I discover something like this, I just think, oh, that's more ornate than that. I like that. And these little tricks, for me, I just get so excited that I'm going to be using that. We'll just add some second generation. So I'm just going to fill in a couple more. And again, you could use this. You could add another colour. We could add coloured ink if we want. I'm just going to stick and do this in the black. But I'm thinking I've got so many of my Versafine Claire that I think would translate into this beautifully. So I just want to do that bell there. And then I think we'll just have just one more first and then a second generation there. And if I turn it round, yeah, I like that shape. Sorry, I'm just going to have to, don't look, I'm just going to have to grab a tissue. Right, better now, that's fine. <clears throat> so, what I want to do now is just add my black fine liner and I'm just going to add a, a line all the way around. Now, again, you can leave this, you can add ink for a darker, but with adding the black, I just thought it would just finish it off for me. So we can remove this now. So off with the tape again, beautiful low tack tape. And that just peels off. And again, to clean it, just some water. Even though you've used Diversifying Claire, a damp cloth look, a dry cloth, and that's ready to go back on its carrier sheet. So we've got this lovely design to add some colour to. What I want to do before is just add a little butterfly here. And this is from a gorgeous stamp set with four butterflies on it. Just so I've got something just peeping out of the design up here. I just think it balances it beautifully. And then I'm just going to come in with my watercolour pencils. And I'm going to very quickly add some colour just to the books. And as I say, you can use whichever colouring medium you like and I'm just going to colour these now again it might be you've going to you could stamp a few of these up and spend a lovely afternoon just taking your time and adding colour how fabulous would that be and again, I'm just leaning on my, my kitchen towel, just because in case I've got any ink on my hand, I want to try and keep this white space white. And the pencils go beautifully over the ink, look. So we'll just, that one blue, right, and then we'll just, as I say, I will quite quickly, but you will take your time and really enjoy the process. I mean, hopefully you'll have a nice brew as well. I haven't. I'm going to wait for mine. Let's add a green. I think a green might complement. I always think these books are beautiful leather books bound with gilding on. Go for yellow for the bottom one. Again, if you want to add some gilding to it, you can. You can put some yellow just in there. So we've got the two at the top. I know, let's go for a red and we'll add some red into her wing. 
I wonder what these books are about. Do you think they're magic books about spells? Or gardening books? There might be one on butterflies. She might be chasing that butterfly. It might be an unusual butterfly. And she might be just reading the books. Could be cookery books. What do you think? Let's add a little bit of orange here. And then a little tip of yellow. Just so that complements beautifully. And then in with our wink of Stella. And we'll just add, just clean my brush, some lovely colour. So if I start off with my lightest book first. So that's the yellow one. And then I can go to the green. And this is just going to add a little bit of sparkle. If you don't want the sparkle, again, just use your, your water brush or a, a paint brush. But I just want to add a little bit of sparkle to my books. And then I'm just going to turn this round and just add that lovely bit of sparkle to these lovely hanging flowers. This is going to be so useful. And again, I've got it hanging down, of course. It could be growing up. I think it's going to be such a useful stamp. Look at that. So just I want to add a little bit of shade here. So let's come in with our pastel pencil. And I'm just going to... Now again, you could use your inks for this. I'm just going pastel pencil and just a biodegradable cotton board just to add that little bit of shade here. I just think it grounds the books and finishes the design beautifully. And while we've got these open, you know, we'll get the yellow and the white and then round our lamp look. We'll add a little bit of yellow and I'm just going to blend it with the white. Two things, it'll blend it but also help to fix it. Oh, and while I've got the white, let's just add a little bit of highlight. Just a little on our fairy and our lamps. And a very simple and quick, lovely design. Now, on my original look, I've added the sentiment away with the fairies. Do you know what? I'll put my, where's my sentiment stickers gone? We do, there we go. I tell you, the fairies keep moving things in my craft room. I don't know about you. They really do. So, for the colour tone, I've gone for the, the vintage ones. I think it just matches well. How about see the light? Because she's got a light. So, I just thought away with the fairies went well. And again, I'm just using this because, I mean, it could go here to follow that line, couldn't it? could go there so it's part of the design could go up here I might put this one here for this one just so it's different to my first one right let's make sure we get it straight that's better and then I'm just going to just because I've gone round the circle with my black fine liner just going to use it to put around my sentiment and there we go so I hope you enjoy that and I hope you like our new little Dana she's beautiful and obviously shh, we don't mention the thimble weed that sneaked in so I hope you're going to look on social media for all the other samples from the design team. 
Thank you for joining me. I think I'm going to go and make myself a hot lemon. I think I'm in need. So, as always, lovely to spend time with you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.